Hi folks and welcome back to Travels with Paddles. My name's James and today we're in Hereford for the second day of our paddling on the River Wye. Here's a map of the route and distance was just over 16 miles. So this is part two of a three-part series of our travels down the Wye. As I mentioned in part one, I'm sharing these in chronological, not distance order. So although it's day two, we're actually paddling further up the river than day one. The launch at Hereford is a rather unusual one as it's directly underneath the A49 bridge. The nearest public parking is at Y Street car park. So there's a bit of a portage down St. Martin's Street and then along a little path that follows the river under the bridge. Back on the river and you'll find that this section has a few little rapids. Nothing too big, but they do give some variety to the paddle. Once you've left Hereford, the scenery is very much classic English countryside. It wasn't the warmest day, so Hannah's prepared for all weathers. A handy gravel beach gives us an opportunity for our first break. Now then, in part one, I mentioned that we were using this wide trip as a warm up for a paddle later in the year in the south of France. I also suggested that you could have a guess in the comments as to which river in France we were going to be paddling. Well, the answer is the River Tarn, or as the French would say, Le Tarn. Winding its way through the French countryside in the vicinity of Millau, videos of that trip will be coming to the channel soon. Here we had a gravel bar which was creating a nice gentle eddy, perfect for practicing breaking in and breaking out. Time for lunch. Just next to the lunch spot, there were a few rocks which created the perfect opportunity for some very gentle surfing. Good job from Hannah there in her stratos. Unfortunately, we did get some rain, but thankfully not for too long. If you've watched any of my older videos, you may have seen several that refer to a place called Ballingham. Well, here it is again. Before Covid hit in 2020, a big group of us used to come here every year to do some camping and paddling. There's a really nice natural weir that's very gentle and allows you to practice your surfing skills. You're doing great Sarah! This is the field where we used to set up the tents. Brings back lots of good memories. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this video of day two. Please do check out the videos for days one and three. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, Stay safe on the water.